Welcome back to Backyard Science. And this is our Christmas special. What's up guys? Today we're going to be having a very festive experiment. We're making a pine tree with crystals for all ages. Anyway, this is our new camera setup. Hopefully you like it. If you don't, or if you do, tell us in the comments down below. Let's get on with our video. All right, for this fun experiment, you're gonna need some things, including a beaker, a beaker, some salt, some water, some cardboard, some green food coloring, some scissors, and a glass jar lid, some measuring spoons, uh, clear ammonia, and some blue ink. You can't find this in stores anymore because they don't make it anymore, but you can find it on like Amazon, eBay, anywhere online. So, here we go. All right, guys, so what you're gonna need first is two tablespoons of water. And you're gonna pour this in the beaker so it's easy to mix, or any other mixing, mixing, mixing container. container. Two tablespoons Our of nice that. little new beaker. And that we then got here. you need two tablespoons of bluing. I think this stains, so just be careful with that. And there we go, on my pants. <laughs> As I say, it stains. It stains, so be careful. And there goes the beaker. What are you doing? Uh, my hand is shaking. You're I'm out scared. Of control. Okay, now that everything's blue, we need one tablespoon spoon, spoon of ammonia. There's uh, paper. Okay, I got a plan. Scissors. Is magic. Let's get wonderful. Uh, recycling. This stuff smells awful. It does. So oh nice. gosh, it does. That smells smelly. Two, Two tablespoons of salt. Cause it better be real salty in here. Be helpful. <laughs> this, this is so dumb. You're the one dumb, look at you. You're the one that pours too much. Ethan is young, dumb, bro. <laughs> it looks like it's snowed in here. That's how bad we are pouring everything. Green food coloring to make it more Christmassy. Christmas colors. And then it's gonna look like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. More than one point. All right, now that we have finished making our crystal syrup and finished mixing, we are going to draw our um, Christmas tree outlines. All right, so we accidentally grabbed left-handed scissors, but fortunately our cameraman is left-handed, so we just had him cut it real quick. But you're gonna trace this tree over three times, two times, two times and have three trees. And you're gonna put all those little together, pour the stuff on top, and that's your tree, so. All right, now that we have our two tra two, tapes. two traced trees, we're gonna cut them out. But we can't, because we're right-handed. So cameraman, do it. All right, and now that we've traced and cut out all three trees, we drew these little lines down the tops and bottoms of them, because we're gonna have to put them together to make it look like a 3D tree. Two of the trees go from the middle to the bottom and one from the middle to the top. So we'll cut those little slits out now. Put them together. Now our very Merry Christmas tree is done. And we must place it inside the glass jar lid. It smells like dill pickles in here. That way it does not get everywhere. The syrup. Stuff on so um, we're going to be needing some food coloring again. So you're just gonna place it on each tip. Dotted each edge of our Christmas tree with green just to make sure the crystals turn green or else it doesn't look like a Christmas tree. So now we're going to take our syrup, our serum, and we're going to pour some on the top of the Christmas tree. We don't want to pour all of it because we're going to take this to the extremes. Okay. You know what? You know what? I'm going to do it. You know what? To make the entire thing awesome and blue. It's like watering an actual plant. What's gonna happen is this is gonna soak up through the tree and create the crystals. So we're gonna wait 24 hours, the crystals are gonna be here, and something's coming up after. Okay, in the last 24 hours, our Christmas tree has grown crystals. It's super delicate, so we're trying not to hit the table, trying not to shake the tree house or anything, because it's super fragile. It turned out a little bit blue. It's kind of cool, actually. It's, it's like the crystals are almost like cauliflower. It's really cool. That's actually really cool. They look like cauliflower and clouds. 
That's actually like really cool. And the way it's like soaked up through the cardboard. Yeah, some of it even turned orange. It's less of a pine tree and more of a blue fur, but I mean, it's still pretty cool. But you know, on Backyard Science, we take everything to the extremes. So we're gonna build a bigger one with big cardboard boxes. And hopefully we're gonna get really, really, really big crystals. So let's get to that. So we're gonna be making a giant Christmas tree. And because it's a bigger Christmas tree, we're gonna need more festive appearances. Now we're festive-y. I'm a thug. No, you're not, you're an elf. <laughs> all right, so we've gotten all of our materials, our festive wear. And our festive plates. And our festive plates. So we have all of our materials and we are going to double the recipe because we are making this a bigger tree. Now each test tube is two tablespoons. So we're gonna do two test tubes if it's if it's a two tablespoon because we're doubling it. And if it's a one tablespoon, we'll do one test tube. All right, we finished our serum and I think we're gonna have to have some more because I don't think that's gonna fill up the entire plate. But we're about to cut out our Christmas tree and we're ready. Okay, we have our nice little drawn tree here on cardboard. Uh, sponsors Home Depot. Also, we're not left-handed and we still have those left-handed scissors, so can't rest! <laughs> Alright, so we've got our tree all cut out, finished, the star's kind of jacked up, but overall, pretty sturdy. It's not gonna fall over like our other one. I don't know, it wasn't very good. But we have our serum, syrup, serum, whatever, done, and our tree, so we're gonna pour this on and let's see how the crystals do. Alright, are you ready? I'm, I'm fine. I mean fine. Oh yeah, that's pretty legit, man! <laughs> ah! Alright, alright, all right. we're about to pour. Here we go. Oh, no, that's green. That's green. It's pretty sick, my dude. Alright, we got everything spread out. Uh, it's pretty green. Now we just gotta wait 24 hours and our crystals will hopefully grow. Okay, so it is super cold outside. It's been 24 hours, it's Christmas Day, and I think it's turned out pretty good. This is really cool. Like, look at the crystals. They're literally bursting out of like the seams of the cardboard. And like, look at the difference between this and that. Like that's stuff. That this, man, cool. now, this is good. Like really, like look at it. It's just awesome. Even like the stars got little like crystallizations. So this one looks like it's been colored more than this one. This one looks like it's just been snowed on. Yeah, it does. But we live in Texas, so it's just freezing and cold with no snow. It's true. I'm freezing. I really should put on another pair of jeans and double either up you socks. Either you have fun in the snow, or she's completely bare freezing in an ice age. And miserable. Anyway, this one looks like more of a tree. This one looks like it just a cardboard fake tree that got snowed on. But they're both really cool, and I definitely recommend this experiment at your home. All right, guys, this was an awesome video. I really liked it, and the outcome was amazing, and I had lots of fun. And by the way, we are super close to 100 subscribers. Now, if we do hit 100 subscribers, we are going to do a Q&A and a treehouse tour. Please leave some questions in the comments. Subscribe, like, do all that good stuff, and happy holidays. See you next time on Backyard Science. Peace out. Let's go.